Okay, in today's video, I'm going to hook up a little a furnace. This one, I believe, is 17,000 BTU. Hydro flame. I'm just going to test it first. Uh, hook up through the thermostat properly and make sure it works. This is brand new, but it's not new, if you know what I mean. It's an older one, but it's brand new. hasn't been used. Gonna try that get that going and I believe it blows out the side so I can just run a three inch vent pipe or a three inch uh, pipe through the wall rather than cutting a big hole to put the whole thing in if not I got another backup one it's on Facebook marketplace and that's where I found both of these actually but I thought I'd grab them both where did I put the other one? Oh. Well, I think it's in the in the garage or the shop. This one is quite a bit older than that one. But still in good shape. And uh, yeah. So one of the two will heat the cabin. If not, both of them. But I got the wood stove too, so. And I got a heat, Mr. Heat Buddy. So between the three, I'm not going to be cold this winter. But let's get it hooked up and see if I can get it uh, actually operating. Okay. Got her hooked up. Black to black or blue or negative, basically. Red positive, obviously. Then you got to run red up to the thermostat. And white. This looks a little crude, but I'm just testing it. Propane's on, so now we turn up the thermostat. Hmm. And it takes a, I think it takes a couple seconds to register. Yeah. And then it kicks on. Exhaust. We got the heat will come out here. And on the other side is the intake, or the fan. Now, I hear it cracking a little, a little bit. That's probably the plenum's heating up. There we go. Starting to put out warm exhaust. And the air's warming up. So it should be good. Good test. Okay, decided on a position here for the furnace, little furnace. I'm gonna go through the wall here, kind of right almost underneath the stove, but to the left of it a bit, the wood stove. And then the exhaust will be blowing this way, but it'll be about three feet from the tanks, which might be good. I might have to I might hoard these in a bit with something. And because these things aren't the most efficient and the exhaust from the furnace can keep the pro propane tanks warm uh, when winter hits. But anyway, I got to get a whole three inch hole cut through the wall here. Okay, I got the fitting here, four inch fitting, hole, hole cutter. Uh, yeah, and we got the four inch pipe. It's going to go right through, fits just right. And then on the um, other end of the pipe here, the stove came with this fitting. So it just slides onto the pipe, under the concave of the pipe. And then that's going to go right in to the stove itself. So it should work. Let's carry on with hole cutting. That's a thick wall. Very close. Very, very close. Okay, I was in the full depth of the of this blade. 
only goes in about an inch and the wall is slightly over an inch I believe so I'll try a little persuasion with the hammer yeah she's getting loose try and split her Try a quarter. Come on, baby. There we go. More than one way to skin a cat. Whoa, this cabin's built good. It's got like a one inch board on the outside. It's got the OSB. I'll have to try and cut through there now. Okay, more fun. Okay, got her. Look at all that rock saw insulation in there too. I'll cut that out so I can get my pipe through. Okay, propane hooked up, blocks holding everything in place, I'll secure it all better later, and yeah, time for power. Okay, got the thermostat mounted, vent to blow in the hot air, let's test it out. I like her at about... Uh, Night, well at night about 19, but during the day about 21. I have to turn up a bit more because it's kind of warm in here already. So then we go over. Fan starts up first. Clear any gases out there might be. Safety. This is the lithium battery I did a review on. I'll try and put a link in the in the video here. Or in the description. There we go. Gets gas, lights up. Wires up through. I'm gonna clean things up here. I'm gonna put some uh, metal underneath the vent at the back. Maybe put a box over this. But she's working. Let's go see if it's blowing warm, hot air, or is it cold air? Ooh, yeah, that's actually nice and warm, just below hot. So yeah, that should top up the uh, cabin when at night when I don't want to have the wood stove going all night. Now of course I'm going to clean things up here. I might have cut some off that tin. I've got to take six, six inches off anyway for the fire inspector. But I might take a half moon out if need be to put a nice uh, vent cover over there. Well, that's awesome. It took me all freaking day to get things going. That hole through the wall took longer than I thought. But there we go. Thanks for watching. Dream your dream. Remember to like, subscribe if you got anything out of it, and share. Okay, I built my uh, proper insulated box and have the line run into a 100 pound bottle. Lasts quite a while. Just re wire re um, these wires a bit for the battery. Probably with the battery inside the cabin though. And that'll be a lot better. It'll keep the air warm so it'll heat and operate better. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
Any suggestions? It's gonna work for me.